in this church, there's uh, 35 different machines, and they they came to life from the year 1987 all the way to 2006. After touring for many years, they, they, they were stored in a container in Germany, and I made the decision last year, right before the uh, Hurricane Sandy, I decided I wanted to bring them back to life. And the idea was, if I bring these machines back after they've toured long and hard throughout the world, and I gave them uh, an added uh, bit of life, that in fact, uh, we could sort of conceptually deem them saints. My work uh, wandered into performance uh, after studying traditional art forms. When I found that expression, I was performing with my own body. Slowly, my costumes, which were actual painted skins, began to shed my body, and they became alive on their own. And those mechanisms became sort of life-size puppets attached to my body, and eventually those puppets emerged into the machines that you see in the room today. Every one of them expresses a different quality that we as humans possess, but they're very, they're very simple. The machines all found their place in the church. Naturally, the rope climber could climb all the way to the top of the roof, and at the top of the roof uh, resides the, the floating tree. And the floating tree was a piece we did in the East River that actually floated down the East River, and it was a condominium for birds. Now, the climactic moment in the performance has the rope climber ascending all the way up to the tree, and once it reaches the tree, the tree very slowly rotates. And so, in, in essence, we're making reference to the religion being in fact, nature itself. The drumming and drawing subhuman is sort of the wisest and the oldest of all of the machines, and simply because uh, the subhuman was one of the characters that I performed with early on. And the origin of the idea of the subhuman had to do with being in Los Angeles, uh, an earthquake-prone place in the world. And I always wondered what was actually happening under the earth that caused these earthquakes. So I developed the subhuman, who's the spirit of the under, underworld and at one point I thought ah I can bring the subhuman back to life and complete and, and start him on a new cycle of life and so we gave him the character of the drumming and drawing subhuman. When you look at his compositions you often see elements that are related to the way that these guys are built and drawn. He makes line drawings of the rest of the machines in the performance. It's really nice, it's really, it's really exciting, and it's particularly exciting to have them in, in, in this format. Part of it is an ode to the power of the church, the power of the architecture of the church. It's a parallel between what we're very familiar with and what we're getting far away from. We're getting further and further away from human contact, and we're more interested in our contact with machines. <laughs>